Hi, my name is Father Charlie Bouchard, and I'm here at the Dominican House in St. Louis to offer you a word of hope based on the readings for Sunday, January 28th. You know, the main event of this reading from the Gospel of Luke is clearly Jesus' encounter with the man possessed by an unclean spirit. I've never seen something like this, but it must have been pretty dramatic that Jesus encounters this man and the unclean spirit. The unclean spirit recognizes him, and Jesus silences him and tells him to leave the man, which he does. But, you know, as dramatic as this episode must have been to the people who were there, I don't think it's the main point of the story. I think, rather, the story is about the authority of Jesus, because the Gospels say twice that Uh, people were amazed by Jesus' authority. A part of that, of course, was casting out this unclean spirit, but they point out that he taught with an authority that was not like the authority of the scribes. The scribes, remember, were lawyers, basically, and I don't want to offend any attorneys that might might be out there, and probably they were authoritative because of their learning and their ability to write and interpret the law. But I think what St. Luke is trying to tell us that the scribes may have had this certain kind of authority, but it was not able to really move and compel people. Jesus, on the other hand, was able to do that, that he spoke directly from who he was. There was no uh, artifice. There was no manipulation. And he caused people to move toward him, to be drawn toward him. I think this discussion about authority is important today because it's an election year. And there are a whole lot of candidates out there who are going to be vying for our attention and trying to get us to vote for them so that they can exercise political authority in our name and preserve good things in our civil life and for the common good. But not all of these candidates have the same kind of authority and the same uh, kind of character that we might want. And I think this story from the gospel reminds us that we have to carefully discern the way in which a candidate might exercise that authority in our name. I think the other thing that's important, perhaps even more so than our political uh, assessments, would be to experience the authority of Jesus in our own lives. You know, what does that authority mean to us? How do we internalize it? And more importantly, can we reflect it to others in the things that we do and say? So let us take a moment today as we read the scripture and just reflect on the authority of Jesus as well as on the authority that we grant to others who may have some power over us. And let us pray for the gift of prudence and discernment and ask God to uh, enable us to share in that kind of powerful authority that he gave to Jesus.